our house, the kitchen is where everything happens. Meals and memories are created and everybody has a role. We wanted to capture some of those moments between daughters and their moms. This is Kitchen Conversations. Oh my gosh, look at how little you are. Oh my God, that <laughs> shirt. What was I wearing? I love it. You were so little. Then I, I asked for that. You were like nine years old. Yeah. I mean, and I was like, will you make me a book of all your recipes? I know. I mean, what nine year old does that? Well, I feel like we have this foodie family concept. Yeah. And, um, you know, it's kind of cool because, I mean, what better things in life are there than food? <laughs> food. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, family, but I mean, food kind of is the, the cornerstone for everything. Yeah, no, it is. Like whenever we go out to dinner, we have like always have the best conversations and stuff like that. So out of all the meals that we make, what are what are some of your favorite things? The sausage pasta. Sausage pasta. Yeah. Yeah. What's the one thing that you don't like that we make? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, I know. I feel like we have one of those lucky families where nobody doesn't like a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like I'm. I could honestly eat anything. Like I'm not picky about anything. What would you say is your like favorite thing to cook for us? Um, I love making Thanksgiving dinner. You know what is my favorite thing? Mm -hmm. How much you guys love the food. Yeah. I mean that, I can't even tell you as a mom, that is just so rewarding. Mm -hmm. And you know, when you think about those types of recipes that maybe someday you'll make for your family or we'll have for years to come. Yeah, well you put them in my recipe book. Yeah. What do you think girls today, how do you feel like they are overall in general think about food or think about food and health i mean every every girl is like self-conscious about their body like even if they say they aren't one thing that i have really appreciated about you is you you have a very um you're very confident and you appreciate your body and mm -hmm. you, you don't over critique it yeah which is so common for girls your age and, you know, I look at every one of your friends. I look at, you know, basically all these young, beautiful girls that have so much potential and they're all gorgeous, yeah. you know, and all in all different shapes and sizes. Mm. And, you know, how do we get, how do we get girls to not be so self-critical and to really learn to love their body? Like not focus on comparing yourselves to others because especially with social media, like, I mean, I even do this, like compare myself to other girls and say like, oh, I wish I could have their body or, you know, I wish I could look like them. But there's like, when you think about it, there's no way in this world that you're going to look like that person because everyone looks different. Right. And, so that, you, and there's, that's, that's the beauty of life. Yeah. Though, and, and making sure that girls understand yeah. that that's what they have to celebrate is about themselves. Yeah. Well, I think food can be just one of those powerful um, tools to help nourish your body and nourish your soul and nourish your life yeah. versus be something that is so hard to manage. Yeah. You know, it's like, how do you, how do you teach girls to not overthink things mm -hmm. and to have a healthy appreciation, but to enjoy everything that's amazing about what food has to offer. Yeah. But I, I love cooking. I mean, Nicely done. Yeah. Let's 